Hi there, this is about colors today. We're gonna create a color change for an object. Let's go to polygon modeling or NURBS modeling, whatever. Create a box like this and give it a little bit of more, a slightly different look like this. Move it to the left. What we'll do now is uh, we go to modify and freeze transformations. Why do we do that? I show you uh, here on the polygon cube. You see that we moved it up. That's the up, the y direction here, and we moved it to the left. That's the x minus x direction here. And in order to place it back to the same uh, place, let's just go here to modify and freeze transformation. That makes them all zero. And if we move it now or ro rotate it like this, we just need to type in zero and zero and we're back at the same position. This is not important at all uh, but it's uh, nice to have but we mainly use it for the second part of this tutorial. Okay, um, let's create a new shader, a new material here, an Arnold shader which is currently the standard shader for Maya <coughs> and um, we go to the beginning of the animation. We have 120 frames currently here, uh, so frame number one. And we pick a color, for example, red. And next to the color, we're actually on the word color, we can set a key. Uh, we don't see it because we haven't actually selected the, the shader, which doesn't matter. We could select it here. Never mind. Uh, now we go to the end of the animation and we click on color again and instead of the red we want to have a blue now which is just opposite here and we set another keyframe set key now when we run the simulation the color changes from red to blue now what if we want the color to change to a well more interesting value here in the middle well we just go to the color picker again and you see it's currently well it's not saturated really we could move this to a more saturated part here and um, we could go to green for example if we like and set another keyframe here now we have red becoming green becoming blue so um, that's pretty trivial, you might think. Yes, it is, but it's a standard procedure. Now let's duplicate this object and freeze the transformation again. Because now it's sitting here and we want to have it here. We give it a new shader, a new material, Arnold standard surface shader, and um, we'll give it a color of say well yellow it's kind of yellow now we duplicate it so we have two of them now cube 2 and cube 3 and cube 3 is with frozen transformation so it's zeroed here it's right here let's lift it up and um, give it a new material again an Arnold shader a standard surface shader and now we give it a checker texture. In order to see it we need to click here. So this is the checker texture. Let's raise this to 8 so we see a little bit more of it and maybe this to 6 and maybe this to 12 like this. Okay so we have a checkerboard and um, in order to move it exactly back to that position all we need to do is just type in 0 here. So it's gone now. It's sitting exactly at this position here. Uh, but we don't want to do this right now because what we want to do is we want to make it transparent. So let's go to the beginning of the animation and um, right mouse click material attributes and the transparency is called transmission in Arnold. So uh, let's make it totally transparent. That means like this and we set a keyframe for the transparency weight that means it's totally its transparency set to one this is the maximum it can get transparent now we go to the end of the animation and we make it totally opaque and set another keyframe here 
So what the checkerboard does now, it slowly fades in. It's a texture which does fade in. Now let's do the same thing actually opposite with the yellow box. And the yellow box, um, right mouse click, Uh, has a transmission of uh, zero, of course, and uh, we want to have the ye yellow block totally opaque at the beginning. So let's set a keyframe here. Let's go to the end of the whole process and now set the weight to one and set another keyframe. So it's totally transparent. Set a key here. Now what we'll do is we'll move the checkerboard exactly to the original position, which is right here. And now the animation looks like this. You hear beats and bangs outside, that's the construction site here in the center of Cologne here in Germany. If you run into a problem with the transparency because there's something sort of left of the totally transparent object, uh, you might have want to have a look here material attributes because the standard Arnold shader is has a specularity which is pretty strong so if you lower this to zero it gets totally flat in color and you won't run into reflection problems of a transparent surface so having said this I wish you a very good day bye bye